What major innovation has CATL unleashed this year? Say hello to the CATL Naxtra, a brand new sodium ion battery that could change the EV game entirely. This isn't just a small step in battery tech. It's a leap and leading the charge. None other than CATL, the global powerhouse in EV battery manufacturing. So what's the big deal with CATL's sodium ion breakthrough? For years, experts have hinted that sodium ion batteries might be the safer, more stable successor to lithium ion, the current industry standard in EVs. Unlike lithium ion batteries, which can become fire hazards when damaged, sodium ion batteries offer a much more secure energy storage option. That means more peace of mind for drivers and a major selling point for automakers. CATL's Chief Technology Officer for EV Business, Gowan, didn't hold back in a recent reveal. Sodium ion battery technology is no longer just a lab experiment, he said. We've cracked the code on energy density, cost efficiency, and eco-friendliness, and we're ready for the next phase, mass adoption. That bold statement set the stage for CATL's next-gen sodium ion tech to go mainstream. But before we dive deeper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss an update from us. CATL insiders are calling this tech a game changer. But make no mistake, getting to this point wasn't easy. Several hurdles had to be cleared before the Naxtra battery could make its debut. Let's break down what those challenges were and how CTL powered through them. Those in the EV manufacturing industry would tell you that lithium-ion batteries have been the industry's cornerstone since it gained acceptance. This is because lithium-ion batteries have an impressive energy density. This high energy storage capability per unit volume makes these batteries ideal for applications like electric vehicles and high-performance electronics. On the other hand, sodium-ion batteries, with their inherently lower energy density, were not favorites to be used as EV batteries, even when the price of lithium-ion batteries dropped. However, fast forward to 2025, and everything that posed a challenge to the adoption of sodium-ion batteries over lithium-ion batteries has changed, and CL made sure they took advantage of that. At Supertech Day 2025, CL unveiled its new Nextra battery platform. The platform offers a major leap in sodium-ion battery development and promises to tackle several areas where lithium-ion batteries couldn't fill the gap. Now that we put that aside, let's consider five facts about CATL sodium-ion batteries, which could lead to the displacement of lithium-ion batteries and even disrupt the entire EV industry. The first production under the Nextra brand will be of a new sodium-ion battery with an energy density of 175 WH slash kg. This figure is nearly equivalent to the lithium iron phosphate, LFP, batteries popularly used in electric vehicles and even surpasses some EV battery energy densities, like the BMW i3 and the GI Galaxy E5. On the flip side, this energy density is enough to deliver 124 miles, 200 kilometers, of electric range in a PHEV and up to 310 miles, 500 kilometers, in a pure EV. Those estimates come from China's testing cycle, which is usually pretty generous with range. But those are decent numbers for city cars and micro EVs gaining popularity around the world. Even though lithium-ion batteries have stood out because of the energy densities they offer, sodium-ion batteries have come to take that spot. In the future, we could even see higher energy densities from sodium-ion batteries. You'll agree that lithium-ion batteries could become obsolete if this happens. Usually, energy density indicates how much energy a battery can store per unit of weight. A higher energy density means the battery can store more energy without adding much weight. This is important if a car is to achieve a long driving range. For instance, the Tesla Model S Long Range Model, equipped with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, achieves a range of 405 miles, 830 kilometers. Given this efficiency, a vehicle with a 175WH-kg battery could potentially achieve a range exceeding 310 miles if we assume similar energy consumption rates. However, we can understand where CL is coming from. They don't want customers to have overly high expectations of the batteries. With time, we expect further announcements on this battery specifications. 
CL has emphasized that their new sodium ion batteries possess 10,000 life cycles. If this is true, then it's expected that this battery would lead to a breakthrough in battery longevity and reliability. We say this because most current EV batteries last around 1,000 to 2,000 full cycles, which, when calculated, translates to 8 to 15 years of use. Now, a battery with 10,000 full cycles and 500 kilometers per cycle offers up to 5 million kilometers, 3.1 million miles, of driving over its lifetime. Do you know what that means? The battery could outlive the vehicle it is contained in, and even other multiple vehicles. It would also reduce long-term ownership costs and environmental impact. On the commercial side, it could mean that high-mileage services like taxis, delivery vehicles, and buses would benefit enormously. In addition, there would be a lower total cost of ownership due to minimal battery replacement needs. If there's one aspect that is mouth-watering about CL's new sodium-ion batteries, then it is the safety they guarantee. The company says its sodium-ion battery is much safer because of the way sodium behaves. The battery does not easily form spikes, or what are called dendrites, inside the battery, and it's less likely to overheat or catch fire. CATL explained that they tested the battery far more strictly than the usual safety rules require. They even pierced and drilled the fully charged battery, and it barely gave off any smoke. No fire. No explosion. Even cutting the battery with a saw didn't cause it to burn. The reason it's so safe is because of the electrolytes contained in the battery, which act like a protective barrier. They help stop heat from building up and block the formation of dangerous internal structures. The company calls it a kind of built-in firewall and they made it clear that keeping the battery safe is their top priority. With this CL sodium battery rollout, we've seen potential in what it has to offer. However, how would lithium batteries fare in the EV market? Let's consider just two areas in which lithium-ion batteries could be greatly impacted. The first area is the aspect of market share loss. If sodium-ion batteries prove to be reliable, automakers may shift towards sodium-ion to reduce costs. As you would expect, this would lead to a decline in lithium-ion battery demand, as automakers might use sodium-ion batteries in lower-cost EVs to make those cars more affordable for people. The second area could be the aspect of the manufacturing shift. Instead of producing more lithium-ion batteries, battery manufacturers might expand to support sodium-ion battery production. This could divert capital investment away from further lithium-ion innovation leading to stagnation in its development. Would the CATL sodium battery suffice? It seems that all areas of concern have been dealt with by CL, especially in the areas of battery life cycle and energy density. Let's have your thoughts in the comments section.